Hello and welcome to Unit 1. My name is Michael West and I'm an Instructional Technology Facilitator for Wake County Public Schools in North Carolina. And today in this unit, in this first unit, we're going to talk about some of the basics of the smart board and what is out of the box. So we're going to talk about some of the basic hardware, how to set up your software, and how to enable the projector, the smart board, and your laptop to talk to one another. So before we begin, I want to show you the things that you can find when you begin to open up the box of your smart board, the things that you can find and how to connect each of these parts to each other. Now you may be a little bit surprised to see my smart board has no actual projector connected to the top of the screen itself. Many smart boards come now as one single unit that mounts to the wall and they are immovable. In this particular room, I've got a situation where I've got a smart board on wheels. You can see the track right there and it moves to get out of the way of the whiteboard and then the projector itself is connected to the ceiling via a pole mount that is attached right there. So those two things make my particular model a little bit unique that I'm using here but neither of these things should affect the way you use your smart board in your particular school. So let's take a look at the actual pen tray on the smart board. Most smart boards come with a pen tray with four colors you can use on the board itself at any given time. Black, red, green, and blue. In addition, there's an eraser in the middle coupled with this keyboard icon button and this right mouse click button. Your smart board essentially acts like a giant mouse to interact with your uh, computer. So the actual board has no ability to do anything your computer does not already have the ability to do. What makes a smart board so unique is its ability to project a lot of stuff at one time and to interact with multiple media simultaneously. Your smart board will interact with your laptop or desktop computer in three different ways. The connections to those things are, take a look here, there's this first one right here. This is your VGA cable that, it, that connects directly to the visual output of the smart board. This particular cord Again, you can see the pins right there. This cord is what projects the image of your, of your laptop onto the smart board. The second way the smart board interacts with your laptop is this right here. And this is the USB cord. This is probably the most important part of the smart board that makes it work. Because it's this particular piece of uh, you know, connection that allows your laptop and smart board to talk to one another. With just the VGA cable, you can't do anything except project an image. With simply this, your smart board is essentially a uh, giant projector screen. Couple it with the USB and the software that's included in Smart, you'll have the ability to interact with the smart board with the pen tray, the eraser, and the software included. And the third thing it connects to with is a audio cable. So the audio cable is what projects the sound. Uh, in this case, I have a speaker that's mounted in the ceiling, but you could have a pair of you know, desktop speakers, or sometimes the smart boards have speakers installed that are kind of on the sides of each wing of the board itself. So it's just a matter of which particular model you have at your disposal. But every smart board has these three connectors. Now, if you have a Mac like me, or a MacBook Pro, you'll notice on the sides of this particular laptop, there's no port that seems to easily allow you to connect this VGA cable to the MacBook. If that's your case, what you'll need is to get one of these adapters that looks like this. This is a VGA to my MacBook Pro's um, video output. So in this particular case, it's the one right next to the second USB. You simply plug that in there, and you'll see on the end of this thing, it has the pin connectors that go directly to the uh, VGA cable here. So you connect that together, and you'll be able to connect the visual aspect of the smart board to your laptop. In addition, I'm gonna plug in the USB to the USB port. And finally, I'm going to include the audio cable that connects, of course, to the audio output on the same side of the laptop. Now, as soon as I plug my laptop into the smart board, you'll notice that it says that my smart board interactive whiteboard is working properly. If for some reason that does not show up on your particular model, what you need to do is go to this connection wizard button right here and click that, and when you do, you'll tell the laptop or computer, 
to go look for the smart board. And that should bring up the connection between the smart board and the uh, laptop itself. Now, one final note about the actual projector screen. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't really matter what kind of projector you have. In other words, you don't need to have a smart brand projector for this smart board to actually work. Again, the smart board is essentially a giant mouse that you use to interact with your laptop with. So the projector is almost inconsequential. And in fact, every smart model I've ever seen inside that little box with the smart logo actually includes probably a Sharp or a Sony or an NEC uh, brand uh, projector. And this one in the case is actually an NEC. So it does not matter what kind of projector you choose to use with the smart board. Again, the most important thing being that the USB connection is able to be connected to the laptop because that is the thing that makes your laptop speak and communicate with the smart board itself. Now, when you first start up your actual smart board, you'll want to align and orient the, uh, the points on the smart board so that they, they properly communicate with the same points on your laptop. So to do that, you can do one of two things. You can go to the laptop, you can touch where it says orient slash align the smart board, or there's a second way to do this, and that is to hold down these two mouse-like buttons in, in the front of this particular model. And when I do that, this comes up. And by doing this, this allows me to orient the smart board to the correct um, specification. So all you gotta do is tap the middle of these sort of crosshairs. And by doing that, you have then oriented the smart board so now that if I want to pick up this pen, I can write on the actual smart board. So that's the first thing. That pretty much concludes the first unit here on the basics of setting up the smart board and using the interactive connections to make a connection between the smart board and your laptop. So tune in next time for the uh, unit two um, video and we'll, uh, we'll continue this at that point. Thanks.